and the laundry is drying. <coughs> back to Missouri, back to sinus problems. I didn't have sinus problems when I was out in California. It's just around here. <clears throat> anyway, things are getting back to normal, I guess. Um, the cat missed me. He meowed so much when I wasn't here that he went hoarse. <laughs> so I spoiled him a little bit, and he's sleeping right now. And uh, it's time I did the laundry. It's going to be putting it away. Putting things away and straightening up and then going from there. That'll be my starting point. Tonight I have a meeting. Well, it's not really a meeting. It's a support group. It's once a month for people that deal with narcissistic people. Most of us were raised by narcissistic parents. <clears throat> and or married or work for a narcissistic person or deal with them. So we know the traits. And we discuss, if you can't cut them all out of your life altogether, what do you do? How do you cope? Basically, that's what it's about. And it really has helped a lot. A lot. I don't have very much food in the fridge, but that's okay. Because part of my starting anew, as they say, will be trying to improve my diet and so many of my friends on Facebook and YouTube are going water only. I had a coffee today, but I'm going to try to do mostly just water. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to eat better. And I ordered some little thing off of Amazon <clears throat> that you wear around. It's like a pedometer, but a modern version. You can you put it to your iPhone, but I don't have an iPhone. And someone said you can use it without an iPhone. Just use it as a pedometer and a heart rate monitor and all that stuff. So I, it cost me $23. So I will probably get that next week sometime. And I can, if I walk around the block, I'll know how many steps, how many calories burnt and all that good stuff. Like most people take for granted, they already have all this Fitbit and stuff. I don't have any of that. So, we'll see. And it also has an alarm or a buzzer or something, I don't know, that if you sit too long, I don't think I'm going to like that part. <laughs> It'll be buzzing all day long. Now, if it gave you electric shocks when you didn't do anything, that would be really bad, especially if you couldn't take it off. <laughs> Unless you like that kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, but I had such a wonderful time in California with my sons and their ladies, and um, we did so many things, and for the first three or four days, all the stuff that I filmed on the camera was putting in the computer, and Brian was trying to show me that you could put it here or put it there, so I thought that he had, so I took the SD card and erased it. Duh, I lost everything. All the footage. And then it made me sit and think, what's important here? He spent a lot of money and time and planning for us to be there. And there's so many people in the life nowadays that have their phones out filming every single thing and not really living it. So I thought, well, if something's really important, they have, I like those smartphones and they can take a picture of it. Other than that, I'm going to enjoy my time here, period. That's it. Not worry about a camera because my camera pooped up and it wasn't working right. Uh, the buttons on it wouldn't allow me to do anything. I could film about 10 seconds and that was it and then I couldn't retrieve it, I couldn't save it, I couldn't move it, nothing. I ordered a replacement one, used one, in an odd color, but I don't care because the odd color was very, very cheap. Like, nobody wants a purple camera. Really? I'll take a purple camera if it works. So I got one that's supposed to come pretty soon. 
so that I'll be able to do, go to places and events around here and film them. Uh, but I'm not going to go nutsoid like I have been worried every single second of the day. Did I film what? Did I get something? Did I, you know? No. Nobody cares anyway. Some of you out there like seeing what kind of stuff I do. That's okay. That's cool. But today basically is the day before Inauguration Day here in the United States when Donald J. Trump will be taking over the reins as president. Maybe. I fear it. I fear it greatly. As I started out saying, I'm going to a narcissistic abuse support group. And when you have been in a situation of abuse or narcissistic parents or bosses or spouse or whatever, whatever it is, or an alcoholic family, anything, anything that's not considered kind of normal, uh, anything that's out of the way harmful, okay? If you've been in a, in a situation like that, you recognize others that might be in a situation like that, or you recognize tendencies that are going to go wrong, or could go wrong, or, oh boy, look out. And I fear very, very much for tomorrow. Because growing up under a narcissistic mother, and having married an abusive person, and then dated a, a ladies' man, even though he was Italian, and that's expected of Italian men, that's still kind of a, a very subtle abuse. Because not all Italian men are womanizers. Okay? <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I fear very much for tomorrow. Mr. T... <laughs> Mr. T, I pity the fool that's under my presidency. My, what are the czar ship? How appropriate is that? Yeah, he knows the Russian guy, Putin. Putin, 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 Putin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, golly Moses, I don't know. I think we're in for... I don't know. I just hope that the American citizens will band together, stick together, stay together, support each other, and do the right thing. Because when wrong things are happening, little red flags pop up in the back of your mind. And I have a big red flag waving in the back of my mind for tomorrow. And I'm just, I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. And I think that's what he wants. He wants fear tactics. And all dictators like to work with fear. If you'll notice the American news channels deal with fear. They start out with fire, rape, murder, you know, it's all sensationalism, it's all top story. Uh, this is the this is the story now. This is what's happening now. We're the first to tell you and you know, it's like just be impartial and tell me what's going on. They'll mention things around here and they'll hype it way out of control, but then a terrible earthquake that just happened in Italy. I don't even know where in Italy. I have to go f try to find it online to see where because I have a lot of friends in Italy. So I, uh, I'm worried and concerned that they're okay. I don't go on the media as often as I used to. I'm getting older. I think my priorities are... I don't know. What I hope to accomplish, and it's not any kind of New Year's resolution or anything, but I've been doing a lot of thinking since I was in California of what's important in life and what's not important. My sons are mean the world to me. I got to do stuff I I'd been wanting to do and have not done, and I'm so happy about it. And hopefully I'll get my butt together and put some footage up and tell you all about it couple days worth that I do have footage for and let you know what it was like because there are people that they get the idea of California only from hearing it on news and stuff oh that's where I want to go this is the place this is the only place in Hollywood blah 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 like no there are many beautiful places around but I'll tell you my observations etc etc when I get my butt together and 
collate all the information. Um, other than that, I know I've talked way too long. I don't even have my glasses on, so I can't check the little thing to see how long I have blithered on. But that's what I had to say for today. I'm worried about tomorrow. And I've got to start fresh. I think. Oh, you fresh person, you. <laughs> yeah. Upward and onward. <laughs>